Hey everybody and welcome to the tutorial for the maths mind reading trick. Um, I'm going to try and explain it in two different parts. First I'm going to explain exactly how I did that specific trick and second uh, I'm, I'm going to explain a more general form of the equation so that you can do it on your own and, and vary it up. There's two critical errors that I made in that YouTube video that you should not repeat when you do it. Number one, don't do it on YouTube. Uh, when you do it on YouTube you can watch it over and over and you can start to figure out the trick and it's, it's less math magical. And number two, don't attribute it to math or really even mind reading. It's, it's a lot more fun if, if you attribute it to something like uh, watching how many times your eyes shake or something like that and you know you're doing it right when the person says, okay, this time I'm going to close my eyes and see if you can still do it. And uh, it's just fun to toy with them like that or see how many times they tapped their front toe or, or things like that. So uh, let me try and break the equation down. I'll do it kind of like I did my last explanation and uh, hopefully it makes sense. First, go ahead and pick a number. It can be 1 through 10, 1 through a million, a fraction, a decimal, a negative number, imaginary number, root, whatever. Okay, so let's fade to black here and I'll try to show you what I'm thinking. Of course, this isn't really mind reading, so I don't really know what number you picked. So to represent the number that you picked, or the spectator is picking, I'm just going to put a variable, x. Once you double the number, the formula in my head is now 2x, twice the number that the person chose. Of course, the next step is add 4, so 2x plus 4. Then divide the entire equation by 2. So now the equation is 2x plus 4 all over 2, or in other words, x plus 2. The next step is really key. Uh, what I tell you to do is to subtract the number that you started with, and when you look at it in the formula, we now have x plus 2 minus x. So those two x's cancel out, and that x is the number that the spectator chose. So that number is totally out of the equation, and all that's left is 2. Now, I know the number in your head is 2, and I can do whatever I want with it, and I suggest adding lots of different steps after this to keep them off balance. So there it is, my trick's revealed. Now, let me try to show you the more general form of the equation, so that you can take it and manipulate it every time you use this trick. The underlying trick here is really in just the first five steps, and as you get to do this more and more, you'll be able to manipulate really any of the steps if you can do the math in your head. But the easiest way to manipulate these first five steps is to just modify step three. And instead of adding four every time, add a number that you choose. We'll call it B. And so if you go through the first five steps using B as the number added in step three, the answer will always yield B over two, or in other words, half of the number you told them to add. So to summarize, begin the trick by saying that you're excellent at reading body language or something like that, not something that's so absolutely unbelievable that they don't believe you. Then just go through these first five steps, choosing any number you want to add in step three, and know that by the end of step five, whatever number is in their head is going to be half of what you told them to add. And from there, add a couple other steps. Say add two and subtract three and, and some other things, and just keep track of it in your head so that way they're kept off balance and they don't know exactly what's going on. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments section. Thanks.